Americans are in the nation's capital at this moment, protesting the IRS, the Internal Revenge Service. I am not with them, obviously, but I am with them in spirit. Particularly as an American black man, I can tell you that levers of government in the hands of leftists who have no respect for humanity, no respect for the Constitution, no respect for any type of dignity of the individual. In the hands of certain people like this, all you can expect is never-ending feet being placed upon your neck. I like the parallel that Glenn Beck drew between Martin Luther King and the challenges he faced and the challenges that activists face today. Nigel Ennis and K. Carl Smith, both American blacks and both conservative activists, drew the same parallels and with greater nuance, I think, because in the 21st century civil rights movement, if American blacks do not cast off the shackles of blind obedience to the current administration, we risk not only becoming second-class citizens like our forefathers, but worse, we would have done so in this instance voluntarily. The stakes are very high. Liberals do not respect us. They do not, quote, like us. They use us. They've been using us ever since they got their hands upon us. Now, this doesn't absolve racists or totalitarians of any other political or ideological strife, but liberal racism, liberal overreach, is very rarely challenged, particularly in the American black community, where the noose is tightest around our necks. Let me be very frank. The N-word has been used against my people ever since we were brought here. But if the IRS scandal, the NSA scandal, and various other scandals in which Americans who perhaps thought they were exempt from this type of intrusion have found otherwise, perhaps now we can say that the N-word can apply to all of us under this current regime. Because if you are not one of their faithful followers, if you're not one of their insiders, then you simply are not a human being. You don't matter. That means that your email, your tax records, perhaps even your conversations in person are subject to being monitored. It means that if any of them decide that you're a criminal for no other reason than they don't like your politics, your ideology, or even your boastful support of individual freedom, guess what? You will find yourself dim crowed. It may have started with one particular color, but now every American, regardless of your ideology, if you run afoul of what some liberal overseer somewhere feels is your place, you can expect the full weight of the government to land upon you. Occupy Wall Street found this out, ostensibly a left organization, but when they were no longer politically expedient, they were crushed from coast to coast. No matter how you may feel about Occupy Wall Street, if you happen to be a conservative, you should at least note that the same type of measures taken against them seem to be enacted against your particular ideology. No, millions of conservatives are not being disfoiled, I should say thousands, are not, of conservatives are not being displaced from public events, but one never knows where a leftist will end in his zeal to control you. So we have a very large rally in D.C. going on as I speak, and the Internal Revenge Service is getting its just desserts. Now whether or not we'll be able to put a leash on this organization, or whether or not the administration, bowing to public pressure, will be able to put a leash on this organization remains to be seen. My position is very clear. You cannot support political repression against one ideology without accepting that one day you may experience political repression against your ideology. The internal revenge service is not your friend. You may be a Democrat, you may be a liberal, but guess what? It can turn on you just like any other mad dog.